Living in these South Carolina beach towns is absolutely incredible. So if you're looking for a new place to call home, a place to buy a vacation home, or an affordable place to retire to, these magical beach towns should be on your bucket list. So give me a thumbs up. First stop, Surfside Beach is a beautiful little beach town with just 4,500 full-time residents. And this town is proudly known as the family beach, not a family beach, but the family beach. So if you love a traditional beach town, you're gonna love Surfside Beach. Here you're gonna find restaurants, coffee shops, quiet beaches, fishing, golf, water sports are possible pastimes, but seafood restaurants and souvenir shops make up the downtown district. Retirees who live here find this relaxing pace of life enjoyable as they get to love all the conveniences of the big city where Myrtle Beach is just a few minutes drive away. You don't have to go far to look for the town's seven public parks with fun for grandkids. Also, there's several beach access points that offer showers, restrooms, and accessible ramps for persons with disabilities. Now, I gotta tell you, locals absolutely love the Memorial Day Golf Cart Parade, the Surfside Beach Fun Festival, and the Beach Barbecue Festival. But the Surfside Beach Pier is almost the center of downtown life. So if you're even thinking about moving to Surfside Beach, just let them know that I sent you. Now, in full disclosure and a warning, during the summer season, if you're going out to eat with other families that are in town visiting, you may find a wait line at some of the local restaurants. Now, I just want you to ask me how I know this. Now, like all the other South Carolina beach towns in this video, you'll be enjoying some amazing year-round weather. So the average daytime temperature is 74 degrees. And it's also an average of 215 days of glorious sunshine. During the winter months, you won't be hibernating inside your house you'll be out and about enjoying life. In Surfside Beach, the median home price is $467,000. And for $165,000, you can get a two bedroom condo away from the beach. Or for $2.3 million, you can get this seven bedroom ocean view beach house. Now our next stop is Cherry Grove Beach. It's located near the North Carolina border. It's Cherry Grove, South Carolina with 1,700 residents. This is for real beach lovers and anglers because nothing beats Cherry Grove. It's located in the northernmost end of North Myrtle Beach. Cherry Grove Beach has a rich history of charming beach houses, cottages, and kickback shag music, and wide sandy beaches. Things just move a little slower in Cherry Grove Beach. Now find a place with a porch or a balcony and sip sweet tea and enjoy your time. That'll leave you smiling every time. You also find some of the best seafood joints along the intercoastal waterway or just a few minutes drive by car from the beach. Hey, it's not just the beach. There's a wide variety of golf courses, local shops, tantalizing cuisine, deep sea fishing, water sports of all kinds, and of course, the Atlantic Ocean. Kayaking and paddleboarding. Now I'm gonna recommend this at least once. Now there's a lot of places where you can rent kayaks or paddleboards as you relax and slowly explore the beautiful calm marshlands. Now, if you enjoy this adventure, I've seen many locals who have purchased their own equipment. I mean, even Costco sells paddleboards and kayaks. Hey, we live in a beach town. How about shopping? Now, new to this area is the Coastal North Town Center. It's just a few minutes from Cherry Grove. It's a great place to visit, grab something to eat, get some new clothing, some home decor, or just relax. Now in Cherry Grove, the median home price is $370. And you can get a two-bedroom ocean view condo for $369, or you may prefer this beauty for $2.1 million. Next town on our list is Myrtle Beach. I hope my shiny bald head doesn't disturb you too much. The Myrtle Beach area is one of the largest towns on this list. It has 408,000 residents. Now there's areas that are more commercial and vacation related, and of course, there's areas that are more residential. The U.S. News and World Report has ranked this area as one of the fastest growing areas in the nation, and there is a reason. I mean, beautiful weather, affordability, the beach, and low cost of living have really made this area rank as one of the best places to live overall. Now, for most people, Myrtle Beach is a place to vacation with over 17 million visitors per year. It's famous for the oceanfront boardwalk and a ton of entertainment options and attractions that are all throughout the town. 
but the local economy is built on tourism, which helps to pay for much of the local infrastructure. And this is one reason why primary residents and homeowners enjoy super low property taxes. Now there are over 80 golf courses on the Grand Strand and 50 miniature golf courses. So if you take your golf serious, there's many golf course home communities to choose from. And if you, even if you don't like golf, the views are nice. The Myrtle Beach area is the golf capital of the East Coast. There are a few celebrities who live in town and you may run into somebody who's really famous. There's over 1,700 restaurants in Myrtle Beach, so it's going to take you a long time to get tired of trying a different dining spot every night. One of the biggest attractions in Myrtle Beach besides the beaches and the amusement parks are shopping complexes and retail stores of Broadway at the Beach, which actually won the Governor's Cup Award for the best attraction in the state of South Carolina, summertime fireworks, and the aquarium. You won't get bored in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The attractions are endless, like Margaritaville or Top Golf. And nearby, there's many entertainment and music venues that bring touring bands, concert, and fun entertainment. How about some pop culture history? You can actually play the games of your youth at the world famous Myrtle Beach Pinball Museum. And one of the biggest attractions of them all might be the great weather. You can also take the family to the Myrtle Beach State Park or the Huntington Beach State Park. Now here's something crazy. You can actually buy Southern Living in a store. Now the cost of living in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, it's about 6% lower than the national average. And I did an in-depth video about the low cost of living in Myrtle Beach, and I'll link it in the description below. But by the way, there's over a thousand super helpful videos here on this channel. Did you subscribe yet? Now the median home price in Myrtle Beach is 315,000. Or for 4.9 million, you can get this incredible oceanfront beach house. Or for 185, you can get this one bedroom oceanfront condo. But there's over 3,000 communities to choose from. So you've got a lot of great options, especially when it comes to neighborhoods. Now, before I show you Garden City Beach, do you think YouTube should show my other videos to other people? So go ahead and drop a comment below, like this video, subscribe. I'm not picky. But if you do that, you're going to tell YouTube my videos are helpful and probably other people should watch them. Now, Garden City is like many other beach towns. It has a lower number of permanent residents, but many of the homes in this area are either second homes or vacation rentals. So if you think of it as a long-term vacation by the sea. But having said that, permanent resident population of Garden City is 11,200. And no, it's not the smallest on the list. We have one more to go. Now the advantage to living in Garden City is it's a small beach town, but it's still close to all the action in Myrtle Beach. And in the summer, the area is a hot spot for water sports, fishing, and crabbing. Matter of fact, this community is a little bit less crowded beach, so you can enjoy the peace and quiet. But it's still close to fine dining, shopping, restaurants, and nightlife. In the heart of Garden City Beach is the pier. Now this is a paradise for those looking to fish during the day, and they can also dance to live music at night. But if you're a surfing enthusiast, you're sure to catch a perfect wave right here because this is a fun beach. Now, across the street, there's nearby arcades, which are really favorite stops for those ready to have fun after their day in the sun. Now, the median home price in Garden City Beach, South Carolina is $350,000, where you can get this manufactured home for $259,000, a five-bedroom beach house for $850,000, or a two-bedroom ocean view condo for $275,000. Now I have Myrtle's Inlet on my list of beach towns because it really is popular with the locals and with the visitors. But this town doesn't have a really big beach, but it is known as the seafood capital of the South Carolina area. Now the population of Myrtle's Inlet is 9,200 and it's located just north of Pauley's Island and Litchfield Beach communities on Highway 17 now this is a historic fishing village with a variety of restaurants and a super laid-back atmosphere. Merrill's Inlet, South Carolina is a scenic nature lover's retreat. From the greenery and bronze statues at Brook Green Gardens, 
all the way to the pristine beaches at Huntington State Park. The amount of beauty in Merle's Inlet is pretty impressive. Now Merle's Inlet is also a great place to move just for the atmosphere, the food, lots of great restaurants here, and the small town feel. Now I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Even Southern Living Magazine has written full articles on a small, fascinating island in Merle's Inlet. Visitors walk along the Merle's Inlet Marsh Walk and love seeing the goats that live right across the creek from the iconic Drunken Jack's restaurant. So for the past 24 years, the owners of Drunken Jack's have put goats on the island to help keep the underbrush down. The goats arrive mid-spring and are taken off late fall, so goats spend their summer vacation on the island. This is simple southern entertainment. Now the median home price in Merle's Inlet is $410,000. There aren't many condos here, but there are luxury homes that are right on the marsh, and these average about $1 million. There's also some simple single floor living homes in the $500,000 price range that are just a 10 minute drive to the beach. Now there are several other towns and communities that I can recommend that are all within 15, 20 minutes drive to the beach. So. I know that I gave you a bunch of information, so you probably have more questions and we have answers. This is what my real estate team does every single day. It may not be what you want to hear, but if you give us a call, believe me, it's going to be the truth. And at least you're going to know if this is right for you or if it's not right for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there's many more of these here on this channel. So I'll see you in the next video.